Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I'm going to go over my January TBR slash MBR. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to get to all of these books. I would love to, but plans don't always go as planned. So I'm going to try to get to all of these books and even a couple of these books I was supposed to try to finish in December, but they're going to bleed over into January. So, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, a book that I was definitely supposed to finish in December, but I'm probably not even going to be able to start it until January, is The Wolf of Oranyaro by K.S. Veloso. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This was a book that I was supposed to read for our TBR swap that I did with Josephina from Fina Reads. Uh, we gave each other two books to read in December. I read The Good Daughter, which was pretty good, but I was supposed to also read this one. I'm not going to have enough time, though, because my schedule is just hectic in G in <laughs> December. So I'm going to hopefully start and finish this at the very beginning of January. I'm very excited. I've already read the first three chapters like months ago, and it was pretty good. But, you know, like I said, I just wasn't in a fantasy mood at the time I was reading this. So hopefully in January, I will be in a fantasy mood because I have a lot of fantasy books to read in January. So hopefully The Wolf of Oren Yarrow is good. Speaking of books that I'm supposed to finish in December, I also have A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin. This is book four in A Song of Ice and Fire, my all-time favorite series. I reread the first three books, and I'm all about half, more than halfway through Feast for Crows. I'm pretty confident that I can finish this in December. What I'm not confident is about is starting Dance with Dragons in December. I'm probably going to have to start it in January probably even finish it late January, maybe early February. So hopefully, you know, by the start of 2023, I will have reread and finished these books so I can get caught up and finish some other new to me series. And speaking of books that I'm supposed to finish in December, but I probably won't have time to finish in December, is With Blood Upon the Sand by Bradley P. Bradley P. Bolio. Good God, I can't talk today. This is book two in the Shattered Sands series, and I'm supposed to finish this in December for, of course, the Shattered Sands read-along that I'm doing over on my Discord, Book of Stormer Discord. And we read Twelve Kings in Cherokee, book one, in November. We're supposed to read this in December but I don't know if I have enough time. It might have to bleed over into January, which of course is a bit of a problem because I'm supposed to read book three in January, A Veil of Spears. Luckily though, these are both rereads for me, so I can pretty much get through them fairly quickly. So hopefully I'll have enough time for both. And then if I have enough time, I also want to read a new to me novella. I think this is like the third or fourth novella in the series. It takes place somewhere around book three and four or something like that. I don't know. But it's called The Doors, uh, frick, what's it called? The Doors at Dusk and Dawn. And I honestly have no idea what this book is about. I think all the novellas follow random side characters in the series, so I don't even know which character this is, but I'll read and find out, hopefully. But yeah, Song of Shattered Sea and series, I need, to, I need to get caught up because it's my own friggin' read-along. And then I have a couple of sequels that I'd love to be able to get to in the month of January, if I have enough time. They are a bit on the chunky side, though, so you never know. But I'm going to go with Howling Dark by Christopher Rocchio. This is the second Sun Eater book, and it's the sequel to Empire of Silence, which I did manage to finish in December. 
it was pretty good, uh, the first book, that is. It started out pretty well, but then the middle section kind of went into a weird direction that I didn't really love. But then the last hundred pages or so were very redeeming. I loved the last hundred pages of it. And I've heard from numerous people that book two and just the rest of the series is outstanding and much better than the first book. So I'm very much going to continue with this and hopefully it's better than the first book. And another sequel that I really want to get to is Jade War and kind of the same deal as Empire of Silence. Like I read Jade City and gave it three and a half stars. I thought it was pretty good. Not really mind altering or anything, but I've heard from numerous people that the sequels Jade War and Jade Legacy are both outstanding books. So I'm definitely excited to get to Jade War book two in the uh, Greenbone Saga series by Fonda Lee. This next book, I really need to make time to actually read it because I've told my buddy Narsol, who's on several discords, that I was going to read this book several times. And I started it at one point, but I, I, it was a soft DNF. I want to, I want to be able to read it and finish it in January if I have time. And that would, of course, be The Darkness That Comes Before by R. Scott Baker. I definitely think I'm, I'm not promising anything, but I'm almost... 90% sure I'm going to read this book. Hopefully. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things from a lot of booktubers that this book is really good and worth reading and the sequels are even better. So I really need to get on it and try to make time to actually read the damn book. The next book, uh, luckily for me, is not a book that I have to read the whole book for, and I will explain why. That would be Everything's Eventual by Stephen King. And this is, of course, for the Stephen King Short Story Book Club. And if you don't know what that is, you can go sign up if you're interested on the Bookish Drummer Discord. We're basically going to start this in like mid-January and read one short story slash novella a week. And yeah, it's a pretty fun way to get into Stephen King's short stories if you haven't read them before or if you want to go reread them if you haven't read them in a while. So we're going to start this in mid-January. Everything's eventual. And at the top of the video, I mentioned that this is going to be a TBR slash MBR. So these next four books are all kind of like thrillers and horror books that I may get to. I'm going to probably try to use them as palate cleansers for all of these like long and epic fantasy sci-fi series that I have going on. I, so I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them, but I'd love to be able to get to some of them. The first one I have is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is a book I'm very much interested in. Stacy put this on my radar because at the back of the book, it says Dexter meets Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So I love Dexter and uh, Mr. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith is a great movie. So that combo seems very enticing. And me and Stacy are probably going to try to buddy read this. If we have time, we'll try to fit it into January, but you never know. I also have three short horror books. Uh, one of them is a short story collection, so I'd love to be able to at least start this next one in January. That would be Spontaneous Human Combustion, which was actually gifted to me by Sharon Dwyer. And this one I'm very excited for. I've heard from a lot of booktubers, Leslie, a uh, few other ones, that this one is very good, very disturbing, and I love horror short stories, so this is right up my alley. I 
also have another short horror novel, Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Patrika, and this one seems very disturbing. I've heard from a lot of people that it's pretty gross at times and pretty disturbing. It's supposed to be like a horror dystopian where I think human consumption of human flesh is supposed to be normalized. So that seems pretty enticing to me. And yeah, it'll, it'll be a fun palate cleanser in between, you know, like these long epic fantasy books. Like that's a pretty short book. So it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun to get to if I can get to it. And the last book I have to talk about, as long as I'm not forgetting anything major here, editing Jake here, I did forget to mention one book, which is Good Neighbors. And I can't quite remember the author's name, but I'll put a picture here. And I have to read this book because it was the Patreon winner for January. In the Hills Above the Gristmill by Calvin Ellis. And this one I'm definitely excited for. I've heard from a lot of great horror booktubers that this is really good uh, self-pub horror. And usually I've been having a lot of good luck with self-pub horror. Not so much, uh, some, sometimes fantasy self-pub can go either way, but usually horror goes the right way for me. So I'm definitely anticipating this one being a great read and I'm very excited to read this among the other stuff that I have going on. Again, no guarantees that I'm gonna read all of these books or even most of these books I don't know uh, well, well we'll see how it goes I mean December's been kind of hectic just because of my work schedule you know working at the post office and just family you know Stacy's visiting me so I haven't really had that much time to actually read I have read a little bit in December and I will eventually do my December wrap-up that might actually come out before my TBR I don't know I don't know what's going on anymore but hopefully I can get to some more books in December, and hopefully I can get to most of these books in January. All right, so that is my January TBR slash MBR. Please let me know what you guys think of my list of books that I want to read in January. What are you the most excited for me to read? Are there any other suggestions that you have for any other books that I could read in January? And what are you the most excited to read in January? Please leave all those lovely comments down in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and the Book of Stormer Discord. And if you'd like to further support me, go check out my Patreon page and see what that's all about. And I have my Amazon wish list if you'd like to buy me even more books. You don't have to though, because I've gotten a lot of books for my birthday and Christmas. But I'm not gonna say no to books. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.